Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyree Cooper, big baby, and I'm a content creator based out here in Houston. My goal is to be a resource for musicians through reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes content, and honest podcasts. So if any of that interests you, I'd love to invite you to join the Beast Mode Pack. diaphragmatic breathing. I heard a lot about diaphragmatic breathing, but a lot of people haven't really, really dove deep and really explained on exactly what it is and how to do it. Let me go ahead and break it down to you. So what is the diaphragm? The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle horizontally located at the base of your lungs. When you contract this muscle, it helps your lungs exhale the air at an accelerated rate with power. How do we do this? How do we make sure that we're breathing with our diaphragm versus just with the lung? There's a couple different ways on how to actually achieve this goal. One way is to find a flat surface, a wall. Face the wall, exhale slowly. Now before you inhale, focus all of the air into the stomach area, right beneath the rib cage. Now as you inhale, you should be able to push yourself off of the wall with a big stomach. Very important tip. Remember to always keep your shoulders relaxed. Don't poke out your chest. Stand up straight. As you exhale, always remember to breathe out hot air. As if you're trying to fog up a glass or a mirror. Then we'll repeat. I would do it around like five to 10 minutes a day until this type of breathing is second nature. The next way, number two, lay down on your back, either on the floor or on the bed. As you lay down, place that object onto your stomach. I suggest to find a book, a pretty thick book, just something with a little weight on it, baby. Now, exhale all of the air out. And as you're inhaling, focus, focus just on that object. Keep your shoulders and your chest relaxed. That is the key point. Breathe deeply. And as you exhale, remember, always breathe out hot air. As if you're trying to pop up the breath. You have to practice this at least five to 10 minutes, several times a day to be able to achieve this breathing technique. It's not gonna come overnight. You're gonna go back to what you're used to as soon as you start playing the actual instrument. So that's why I'm encouraging you to practice as if you're playing. Inhale with a wide throat as if you're yawning. And as you exhale, hot, deep, warm air. The only way for me to understand if you like this type of content, like this video and leave a comment down below and tell me what song, what was your first song that made you the most tired? My song was Big Ball. because I didn't know nothing about phrasing or pacing yourself or even diaphragmatic breathing. So I'm just going for broke. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to the next step. I don't want to over talk it and learning how to diaphragmatic breathe. Number three, if none of those other things doesn't work, close your eyes, picture your stomach as a balloon. As 
as you inhale, fill up that balloon all the way to its fence. And then tighten it up. Like I'm about to hit you with a bat. Cause nothing else didn't work. You don't want to try nothing else. You don't want to get up against the wall. You don't want to lay down on the floor. We have to try one of those steps. I have one more for you, man. I have one more for you that I think is gonna work. One more. Jesus, the last step into making sure that you're breathing from your diaphragm is the technique of while you're playing, you need to grab a partner for this one. Tell your partner to put one hand on the stomach and one hand on the lower back and then push in. Try to make their hands touch. Now, as the player with you, you're gonna feel a little uncomfortable because you're gonna be trying to breathe. But that's the goal. Push against their hands as you inhale. And as you exhale, make sure that it's hot air, deep, dark, hot air, as if you're trying to fog up a glass. I will play something like Torture. I will play something like ESPN. One of the traditional songs that your band plays. Make sure that they're really squeezing the stomach area so this technique can work. If they barely just, <laughs> and they barely just touching it, then it's not gonna work. You just basically wasting your time. Leave a comment down below and tell me which one helped the most. And remember, this is just the beginning on how to become an animal on your horn. Don't even look, don't even look at this next video until you figured out exactly how to do what I just got done telling you to do. If you like this type of content, like this video, but also leave a comment down below and tell me what was your first song that made you the most tired. And remember to subscribe to the Beast Mode Musicians because we're gonna teach you exactly how to become an animal on your horn. And as always, stay grinding because that's what leaders do. Peace.